afternoon. My invisible friends, hello and welcome back to our series on electrical engineering. This is about a very peculiar connection that uses a single phase transformer. We begin with a single phase transformer with two windings. And we know the power rating, ST, the voltage ratings of the low side VL and the high side VH. And with those three data, we can compute the rated carriers in the windings, dividing the rated power by the rated voltage of each side. IL is the rated power of the transformer divided by the rated voltage of the low side. And the rated current of the high side is also ST, but divided by VH. Now let's do something unexpected. We take the two windings of the transformer and we connect them in series with a low side on top of the high side. Observe the dots. They're pointing both upwards. I've written there VL and VH as the rated voltages there. I'm assuming I'm applying rated voltages to both sides. We can connect it is set up to a higher voltage that we could have the original transformer, this one. We can connect that to a voltage VIH, but it's the sum of the rated voltage of the high side plus the rated voltage of the low side. And now we connect the load to the high voltage side, this one, to VH. The maximum incoming current is the rated current of the low side. Why? Because that current IL will, will flow through that uh, winding. Of course, it cannot exceed the specifications of that winding. So the maximum current I can feed into the whole arrangement coming from the left is the rated current of the low side. But because the current entering the dot on the low voltage side is IL, the rated current, then the current leaving the dot on the high voltage side must be also the rated current of that side IH. The question is, what is occurring in the load? You say, oh, of course, it's KCL applied to node M. It's the sum, the current in the load will be the rated current of the low side plus the rated current of the high side. I have a question for you. What is the power of the load? Multiply them. Of course, the power of the load that right now is the maximum power that we can feed with this arrangement. Why? Because I already have both windings at the rating, at the rated current, so I cannot, I cannot exceed that. So the maximum power of the load is VH, the voltage at the load, the rated voltage of the high side multiplied by the sum of the rated currents of the low side and the high side. We can expand it like so. And remember that VH in reality is A times V low, like so. A is the ratio of the single phase transformer, but VLIL is the rated power of the low side. VHIH is the rated power of the high side, but because this is a transformer with only two windings, the rated power of the low side is equal to the rated power of the high side, it's the rated power of the whole transformer. We can simplify, factor out, and write it this way. A, the ratio, is V high divided by V low. In the end, we say that the maximum power that we can feed with this arrangement is greater than the rate of power of the transformer itself. What is the, the coefficient? VH plus VL divided by VL, rated values, right? Now, the name of this arrangement is auto transformer. So let's be proper. The rated power of the auto transformer SAT is greater than the rated power of the transformer we used to build it by a factor that is VH plus VL divided by VL. Divided by VL, not by VH, mind you. The rated power of the auto transformer is bigger than the rated power of the transformer by a factor. VH plus VL divided by VL, which is a big factor if we choose correctly the rated voltages on the high side and the low side. We engineers like our numbers, so let's run a numerical example. Let's take a single phase transformer rated for 100 kVA, 
20 kilovolts from the lower side, 200 kilovolts from the high side. If we set up an auto transformer with that single phase two winding transformer, we compute that even though we could feed only 100 kVA of load with a single phase transformer, with the auto transformer built with the same single phase transformer, we can feed 1.1 megavolt amperes, that is 1100 kVA. 11 times more power. Isn't that amazing? Of course, how is it possible? That's possible because the transformer is feeding 100 kVA and uh, the rest of the power, 1 mega, megavolt ampere, is traveling galvanically from the high side to the low side of the auto transformer. That is why. What about three phase auto transformers? Look, we can connect three single phase auto transformers in a Y, and we go from a three phase system on the high side, A1, B1, C1, to a three phase system on the low side, A2, B2, C2. Could we also connect them in a delta? Sure you could. But in either case, in a single line, in a one line power systems diagram, this is a symbol used for auto transformer. To emphasize that we're talking with three phase transformers, sometimes we draw those three lines on the high side and the low side. To say what is the type of auto transformer we have, we write either a Y or a Greek uppercase delta in shy. And that is all my invisible friends. Thank you very much for keeping company with me here tonight. And I hope to meet with you again in our next video.